Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys today? Happy August 1st. I am kind of excited that August is here because September is always a great time of year because all the tourists have left Virginia Beach. <laughs> well, not all of them. I mean, we still get tourists in September. <laughs> but the majority of tourists have left Virginia Beach. I can start concentrating on Halloween you know there's always fantastic things when September rolls around right um, but the best thing about August is from the first today through the 31st um, which is uh, Saturday actually um, you guys can redeem those coupons that you earned last month so do not forget to redeem them so they were emailed to the email that your account is with Stampin' Up. So when you go to my online store and you sign in, that email that you sign in with is the one that these coupons were sent to. So just grab your coupons and make sure that you redeem them um, in the month of August. I don't want you guys to miss out. And um, if you spend $50 or more in my online store in the month of August, you will get my August tutorial bundle. I don't have the graphic yet. We're not completely, um, done putting it together, but I have the July graphic. It's going to be at least 30 plus projects always. Um, the last few months it's been 40 something. And, um, the tutorial bundle comes with that many PDFs for that many projects. So even if you don't have the stamp sets, it's okay because you can use them as a sketch. You can use the color combinations for ideas. It's just a plethora of ideas every month. And I would love for you to get that tutorial bundle for free. Um, so don't forget to spend your coupons. And remember the $50, like let's say you spend 50, but you have two coupons from last month, it'll reduce your amount to 40. And so it will not count you for the $50 spend. You actually have to have $50 in your cart that you're paying for before tax and shipping to count for the um, tutorial bundle for free. So just be aware of that. All right. Um, Inky Hands crew memberships um, are always open. I would love to have you join. And yeah, if you have questions, just reach out to me. I'm happy to explain how it works. But basically, you get two video tutorials a week in your inbox with full measurements and detailed photos. They are always extra projects with the bundle of the week or stamp set of the week. And it's $8 for the month, basically a dollar a project. And some months you get two for free because if there's 10 Fridays in a month, you get two extra projects. All right, $7.99, cheaper than a Starbucks. Don't miss out because you will be sad. Okay, Card Fiesta is not this Saturday the 3rd, but it is the 10th. And I would love it if you guys could attend if you're local. Um, every other Saturday from 12.30 to 3.30 at El Azteca Mexican Restaurant. I do a card fiesta. And I would love to have you come and make cards. All right, let's see. Potions and Spell Bundle. I'm still talking about it because after all, you're going to want it. I'm going to be doing projects with it for Halloween. Um, so don't miss out on that. Changing Leaves is also beautiful. It's from the online exclusives. And then we have the sweets with the green and gold um, and the greetings of the season. That's a sweet. And we have our iconic imagery. Whoops, I've pulled two pages, which has our DSP and our bundle and our embellishments and ribbon. So those are some online exclusives. If you guys have missed out on them, don't do it for too long. All right, kits collection. We will have new kits coming up shortly, I believe. I want to say... Hmm. I want to say the 6th, maybe, is when the kits are going to come out. Probably. Usually it's a Tuesday. And that's the first Tuesday of the month. But be on the lookout because they will be in my online store and you can get the new kits. And as soon as I have them to show you, I'll show them to you next week um, on my live on Tuesday. 
but the ones we have still for July are Gardens of Thanks. It's three cards, even though two are shown there, there's three um, for nine total cards in that kit. And the non-stamping kit comes with eight cards um, for each two designs. How cute is that? Oh, precious. And then Expressions of Kindness should be back in the store soon. I think it's temporarily unavailable, but it is gorgeous. And I have to tell you the stamp set that comes with it for free, amazing eight cards in this kit scenic route travel journal kit which is pretty awesome 22 dollars and let's talk about paper pumpkin for the month of august um our paper pumpkin kit is called time for cake you only have until the 10th which is not this saturday coming up but the following to get your um subscription in if you are brand new and want to try out paper pumpkin it's basically a box to your door every month with a surprise um for the month of august time for cake is the name of our set it comes with an additional free stamp set with some numbers which is pretty awesome and you're going to get this really cool um fun fold type card and lots of copper um, elegant rose gold. I call it copper, but similar <laughs> embellishments and um, card and things like that. Um, the coordinating colors for that kit are Moody Mauve, Night of Navy, which is the stamp and spot, Petal Pink, Pecan Pie, Pretty in Pink, and Wild Wheat. And if you haven't gotten your coordinating add ons for the July, August, and September paper pumpkin kits, you can still get it $12. Um, yeah. And Creativity Abounds Fun Folds are available. I also have Masculine, Anything But a Card, Christmas in July. I think there's six up right now, but our next one will be up shortly and there'll be a blog hop for it. It is always, um, I think the 14th is going to be the, uh, I think the fort, no, I think the blog hop is going to be, I want to say the 21st, but it'll be up and you will want to check that out because they're always great tutorials. I sell them for $15. The months that we don't have tutorials, we do a stamp camp, which I highly recommend if you've never participated in because you will have a lot of fun. Don't forget also about my Easter 2024, 2023 paper piecing patterns. I'll be doing a new one for Halloween this year for 2024, but I also have my 2023 Halloween paper piecing patterns and my 2022 paper piecing patterns. Um, love them. I can't wait to make this year's um, little critters. So check me out for PDFs and I guess that's all the announcements for now. Let's talk about our stamp set of the week. Um, friendly fins. It is on, where are the Friendly Fins? I don't think I checked it off, let me look. Friendly Fins, where are you? Let's see, page 60. I don't know why I had that page marked. Okay, here they are. Friendly Fins, look how cute that is. It is a really cool die set, a fantastic stamp set. And this is just absolutely the cutest little set you could use. So check it out. Um, I hope that you like what I make for you today and that you enjoyed the project for last week as well. Um, today's project, we're gonna make our own DSP which is lots of fun as well. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So we are using the Friendly Fins bundle, which is the stamp set and dies, and then Spotlight on Nature dies for this very large, I needed a really big circle. Stylish Shapes wasn't big enough. These are bigger than Stylish Shapes, which I love, and I love all the detail on the edges. So this one has ridges, and so it is the largest of the Spotlight with the ridges, and we are gonna go ahead and get to work. I'm going to show you how to make this fun card. All right. Let me grab all of my parts and pieces. 
we have our base of our card, which is basic white cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We're gonna join our corners together and burnish into place. Our card is gonna go like this. And as you can see, I've made my own background. I have used light blueberry bushel and light azure afternoon stamp and blends to make our background. So if you've never done that before, it is lots of fun, but I want you to be aware that blends do bleed. So they will bleed into the card and you don't want them to do that. So let me grab a scrap and this is what I like to use, a scrap when actually, yeah, I think I used, here it is, let me use this one. I used a different scrap. So what we're gonna do here is starting at the bottom, we're gonna just brush a small line. All right, and then we're gonna use the brush tip and we're just gonna make waves and I'm just gonna leave some space. And if you want smaller waves, make smaller waves. If you want bigger waves, make bigger waves. If you want them to be longer like this, do you, okay? I might come back in here and fill in some more. At the top, I'm gonna start with the blueberry. So I'm gonna mark the top because I want there to be a distinct line. And we're going to follow in between Oops. in between there's no right or wrong don't be afraid that you're gonna hate yours because DSP is just that lots of fun so I'm going to extend the ones that didn't get extended outwards because I want them to go all the way to the end and let's come back in with this one I think I missed a couple here and that one's good, this one, and this one did, and this one didn't, and this one didn't. All right, so now we have our fun and wacky little wave background. It doesn't matter, doesn't have to be pretty, we are gonna use this. So this is gonna get glued right on top of my card base, okay? So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll do some ink blending. So I'm gonna grab my silicone mat and see how it goes through, which is why you want to attach a piece on to the front. It'll also give your card a little more stability because it'll be thicker, right? So we're gonna add our adhesive. And I like to make sure that the top part where the bent, where the folded edges is the right way I can always trim off the bottom, but I don't want to trim off the top. And if I have anything sticking out when I do my layers, which happens, you know, things happen, you just bring in your trimmer and just cut away that tiny little bit that's sticking out. Let's check this side again, see? That's why I love these little guillotine cutters. Makes my life so much easier. All right, so there's that piece. And did I get this side? No, nope. I always have to double check. And sometimes it's just a tiny hair, but these guillotine cutters are amazing for getting just that teeny little bit off, right? So I love mine. Now I have it nice and even. Let's bring in our scrap again and our large basic white circle. So we are going to blend with Azure Afternoon. And I'm thinking that after this week, I'm gonna have to re-ink this puppy because it has gotten a lot of love. All right. So we're going to go ahead and slowly add our blue. And it will be light at first. As you add more layers, you will get more depth of color. And I always start with a light hand and then I put more pressure as I have distributed the ink. I don't push real hard at first. Like I just lightly let it go on and then see, watch, I'm gonna push harder now 
and you're depositing more of that ink, but it's not going to be blotchy because it's been dispersed off of here. So we're going to do that one more time. So I'm going to pick up some color from the edges. It's hard to get ink on those edges with these. So I'm going to blot off. And again, I'm going to go lightly across and make sure that my ink is dispersed. And as I'm doing that, I will start slowly to press a little harder. And I'm going to make sure that my color is getting darker. And I'm probably going to go one more time with this. Almost done with this layer and then we'll do one more inking. Okay, let's go one more time. All right, here we go. We're starting at the top and we're gonna work our way down. Putting more pressure now, I want nice dark blue, but still with that brightness of the azul. I love that azure. It's so pretty. All right. It's like um, a bluish turquoise, right? A little darker than turquoise. All right. So time for some water splashing. Who's ready for that? So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to splatter. You can see here I have some spots among my little card. And those are made with um, a plastic water bottle. So I just put water on there. The bottle has turned yellow over the years, but the water is clear inside. You just can't tell because the bottle is not clear. But we're going to, little by little, make sure that I have the right amount. I have good on this side. This side, not so much. So I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna make sure that I get that nice speckled on this side as well. All right, so now that we have this, we're going to use our heat gun and heat it up. will solidify our splotchiness. I love that every time you do it, it's different. I'm going to flip it over. You can try it from both sides. It's so pretty and I think it just gives that really beautiful watery effect of the ocean. I think we're dry now. All right, so just toss that on my countertop. Now, now that it's curved, I'm just gonna take my bone folder. I'm gonna go this direction. And then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna press it just a little bit harder along the edge. Just like we curl anything, right? We don't want to curl it all the way. So we want to give it a little bit of lift and then you can kind of straighten it out. But we're going to add dimensionals on it. So it's going to be lifted up off the card anyway. So there is our base. All right. Let's put my water bottle away. Okay. So we are going to build a scene on our card. We're going to have our shark and our little um, stingray, and we're building our scene. We're using pumpkin pie, granny apple green, flirty flamingo, balmy blue, coastal cabana. These are white. This is um, azure afternoon. And on the inside, we're gonna put 
our liner of Azure Afternoon with our dolphin, some words, and our little fish. So I have gone ahead and done these little fellas for you. And I have baggied them up because it's a lot of small pieces to keep a hold of once I've designed the project. All right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to build our scene. So our, our little guy, this one's going inside. These guys are going to be popped up off of our circle. The rest are going to be glued flat. So let's go ahead and add the dimensionals. done let's do our stingray I'm gonna put um, some little side you know how I always put that little the thin strips I'm gonna add that on the tail because I really want there to be support but there's our little stingray I'm gonna just add to the tail the dolphins gonna get glued inside flat as well as these little fishies so let me cut the tail from the edge And I'm going to go ahead and curve it to match my stingray. Okay, that's the beauty. When you cut these little strips, it works really well. So let's go ahead and start forming our scene. So I'm going to put like one here. This one I don't want to be as long, so I'm going to trim it maybe right about there. Okay, we're gonna put this one lower. We're gonna add some coral behind it. Maybe um, that looks good. So let's move this. Let's add our coral. I gotta grab my silicone sheet here. Add our coral. Add our seagrass. And tweezers are always of the essence when we have all this wet glue flying around. So this one's going to be down lower. Add our seagrass like this, kind of tucked behind this part of the coral, like that. All right, maybe a little more open. And then we're going to put our seagrass in front. I wanted to change the seagrass, which is why I trimmed it down. And you can do whatever you want with yours, but I wanted a little set back down at the bottom. So for this one over here, we're gonna add a piece there. So let's go ahead and glue it first, tuck it in place, and then we'll start building our scene. So this one's gonna go like that. Then we're gonna have the seagrass. And we're gonna make sure that we don't put too much glue behind that piece because we're gonna add our fishy behind there. We gotta leave some room for our fish. So our little blue fish is gonna tuck behind the grass. Like, you know, they like to hide among the things so they don't get eaten so they can make sure that they're safe, right? Poor fishies, but they are yummy. All right, so we'll add that guy there. We're good. Let's add this cute little, oops, flirty flamingo seashell. Put it over here. Perfect. All right, so let's add our stingray at the bottom. Got to pull our backs off of our dimensionals. He's going to be kind of down here among the bottom. Okay, now we're going to add our little sharky poo. You can see this card really comes together quite easily and quickly. It's a fun one though, and this, um, the little ridges around that um, circle give it so much life. 
All right, so here's our fish, our sharky. All right, so I want his tail kind of to be above this um, coral here. All right, and we're gonna give him some fish back here. Put some fishies back in the back. One back here, swimming, coastal cabana, and a smaller one. I'll show you the dive for these fishes. Give me one second. So you get two in the die, so you get a larger and a smaller, so they cut at the same time. They're attached, so it makes it easy to cut two at a time. All right, so there is our little underwater scene. And we're gonna go ahead and add dimensionals to the back. All right, that should be good. I might add a couple minis just because I'm a little extra. And I wanna make sure that these edges stay down. Just on the edges though. One more over here. All right. So let's pull the backs off. Oops. That one wasn't really attached very good. There we go. Make sure that I push them down. All right. bring our card back in. So we're gonna center our circle over our man-made background. So cute. I'm loving this. So there is our Sharky and our Stingray. All right, and with a piece, I have a scrap of um, Azure Afternoon. We're gonna stamp the word my friend with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Just going to stamp it. Well, I can't really see. I'm going to bring it down a little. Hopefully I'm in camera here. going to stamp it right there. If not, I'll stand up. It's not bad. I'm going to go with that. All right, we're going to use this again, but not right yet. I'm going to show you for the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my... Um, guillotine cutter. I'm going to trim that side and I'm going to have to clean that, but we're going to fork, banner, fork, whatever you want to do on this side, whatever you call it. Okay. My friend. That was just a scrap. I don't even know what size it was. And so we want this to lay across here like this and be at the edge of my cardstock. So right there is where I'm gonna stop with my dimensionals, if I can find them, here they are. One, two should be good. And then the rest of it is going to get wet adhesive. Well, see, see why I don't pull them off by hand? It takes me forever and I sometimes don't get them into my trash can. So we're out a little wet adhesive here. And this bottom point is gonna get a mini because it is dangling down. All right, so let's go ahead and attach. I'm gonna hold up so I can see what I'm doing. Add my friend right there. And there is our sentiment. So now we're gonna work on the inside. So the inside of our card says, 
here for you. We have the dolphin and our fishies. Now, there are no sentiments that say here for you. We have here's to you. My friend, happy birthday, make a splash, and thanks for everything. So, we are going to be combining two of the stamps. We're going to take thanks for everything, and here's to you. And we're going to mask, so I'm going to show you. So here's thanks for everything. Let's see if I can make it a little not so crooked. All right, so there's thanks for everything. We're gonna clean this one and then we'll move it out of the way. Here's to you. Okay, so we're gonna use this one and this one. All right, so let's attach first to the inside. Now this piece I cut three and three quarters by five and it's a piece of azure afternoon. I just thought it'd be cute to line it with that color instead of usually we line with white, right? So I just thought it might be fun to line in another color. And so it's gonna leave a little gap all the way around. You just gotta get your gap even-ish and then press it down into place. All right, and now we're gonna glue our dolphin and our little fishies, okay? So I'm gonna put glue on the back and then we are gonna put the words around them. Let's add our dolphin first. So he's kind of raised up like so. And we're gonna put our fishies under his fin there like they're swimming off with him. They're having fun together. They're a bunch of friends, right? All right, so there's them. Right here is where we're gonna tuck here for you, okay? So let's start with just the word you because we're gonna put it over here near the tail. And I'm gonna grab just a piece of tape and I'm gonna cover up here's two with my tape, okay? So it's covered up, nothing can get ink on it except for you. So I'm going to ink up the word you and then I'm going to remove that piece of tape. Okay. And we're going to stamp the word you down here in the corner. So that one was easy and out of the way. Okay. I'm going to clean my stamp. So now we need the word here, but we don't want the two or the S. So I'm gonna use the same. Okay, I'm gonna put that back on there because I have plenty to hold on to that I don't get ink on my hands, okay? So there's, we're covering up the word you. Now we're also gonna cover up the word S and the apostrophe and T-O, okay? I gotta make sure that it's covered properly. That apostrophe is tricky, but I still want the E, okay? So it's covered up, and now we're gonna do the word here. So I'm just gonna ink that up, and we can throw the rest of this away. It should come up. Well, I thought it was gonna come as one piece, but there, just the word here is now inked up. And I'm gonna throw these two away. I'm gonna flip them on themselves so I don't get ink on myself, hopefully. One never knows, my name is Inky Hands, so <laughs> we'll see if I can avoid it. All right, so now we're gonna stamp the word here on our card, okay? So, we're putting it right there, here. So we have here and you now. Okay, we're gonna clean this. We don't need this one anymore. We need the one that says, thanks for everything. And we are gonna cover up 
the everything. Okay. And then I need another one for the word thanks. Tape is our best friend when we're masking things like this. But I like the sentiments to be able to say what I want them to say. And since it said on the outside, my friend, I wanted it to say here for you. I'm here for you, right? So let's get this one removed, this one, stick it to that one. We're gonna come in from the back side here and flip this around hopefully without making a mess. But you never know, like I said. <laughs> I am pretty messy. All right, so let's close this. We're gonna just stamp the word for underneath the word here. Here, for, you. Isn't that so cute? So there's the inside, my friend, here for you. I like sending cards like that when I know a friend is going through a hard time or if they're just dealing with some things or work is stressful or whatever. And I just want them to know that I care and that if they need to talk to me, I'm here, right? All right, let's move everything out of the way. Look at how cute this card is. Look at these guys. And isn't the background fun and you can make it yourself with your blends. Okay, so again, we used Friendly Fins Bundle. And we used the Spotlight on Nature Dyes. Of course, our blends. And all of the cardstock that I used was um, shaded with blend a small blending brush and then the same color as the ink. As, a, as the paper in ink. So I shaded my Coastal Cabana Fish with Coastal Cabana, my Granny Apple Green with Granny Apple Green, my Balmy Blue with Balmy Blue, um, Fleur de Flamingo, and um, I can't think of that name, Pumpkin Pie. Um, they were all shaded with the blending brushes and I just went right over the tops of the die cuts and shaded them. So that is how those were all done. And I think it just adds a lot more depth when you have a little bit of um, shading from that. So very simple to do. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, and also, if you are new and you haven't said it hi, just please say hi. I would love to recognize you. And I have a live every Tuesday night at um, 8 p.m. Eastern. And I have a live every Thursday afternoon at 1 p.m. Eastern. So I'd love to have you join us again if it's your first time. For those of you that are my regulars, you guys know I love you. And I'm so grateful to have you as part of my um, community Thanks for always making it fun for everyone and hanging out with me on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and for those that are in my Inky Hands crew, thanks for the extra um, support. I appreciate you. So that's it for today, guys. I know it was a fairly quick and simple tutorial, but I think that it's a fun one and you can make multiples of this card easily. All right, I guess that's it. I will talk with you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And this is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping. I'll pin up here the uh, Tuesday video in case you missed it. Bye.